and welcome back to another video so as you guys know i've been playing on the gold rush 5m 3.0 server for quite a while now probably the last couple of months and i've been enjoying it a ton and i figured it's long overdue for me to finally make a guide on how to actually join and get started on the gold rush 3.0 server so since today's video we're gonna be going over quite a bit including how to actually join the server get yourself whitelisted um, maybe how to start off when you're brand new to the server some of the starter jobs as well as just some of the starting stuff that you might want to know as a new player to the server that might not be super apparent to you so let's get right into it and head over to the gold rush discord again you can join the discord by clicking the link in the description should be the first or second link in the description so make sure to join there and we're going to head over to that discord and i'll show you what to do from there so once you join the gold rush discord you're gonna want to go over to select games should be one of the top things that you see I mean, you're gonna want to hit this roll thing and then select 5m from there it should allow you to see quite a bit more and most importantly the whitelist approvals channel what you're gonna want to do is at the top of it if you just scroll up a little bit there is the gold rush 3.0 whitelist application you're gonna want to click on that and then it should bring you over to this gold rush 3.0 whitelist application from here you're just going to follow the directions as shown and explain in your best terms of of course what you want your character to be will be the name of your character about your character uh, your previous experience in roleplay and just some basic questions hit submit and then from there you're just going to want to wait here until you see this update where it says whitelist approvals are up to date if you were approved you should then be able to see all of these other channels and you should be able to join the server on its own so let's head on over the 5m join the server and show you guys how to get started with gold rush 3.0 all right so as a new player of course we're going to want to create a new character so if we hit this little plus button here um of course you'll just see this the second you join on because you don't have a character yet we're going to name it billy bobby why not uh we're going to be a male we're going to select our date of birth obviously we're going for it in 2023 so let's update that to a little bit later there we go our nationality we're just gonna do american because why not and backstory you can write whatever you want here uh, although you have already written a backstory of course for the whitelist application so you don't actually have to write one here if you don't want to from there you're just going to hit create and it should create your character so starting off you're going to select which area you would like to start in so we can select pink cage harmony crown jewels or billingsgate just for the purposes of this video we're going to select most likely the billingsgate hotel just because it's a little bit farther away from anything we're going to hit confirm and of course from here as you see on the left side this is where you will actually create and customize your character so you can change the inheritance of course to get a different kind of face you can change that mix to mix the two faces together you can change your face features down here if you want to get a little bit more technical with how your character looks of course there is an appearance as well here so you can change up your hairstyle and change the color etc etc everything like that so take some time make sure you have a character that you're happy with and of course the top over here you're also able to select a couple different things it's so just changing your view to just the face the full body or of course changing it just to your feet and you can toggle any of these off and on at any time if you want to go back to just the full main body um, you can of course take stuff off easily right here if you don't like a certain piece of clothing you have on you're able to hit these buttons to change what view you're looking at from your character if you want to get a little bit of a different angle and then when you're done at the bottom you're going to hit save and hit yes from there you're brought into the world and with not much on yourself you have a driver's license an id card and your cell phone now i recommend when starting off to the server hitting escape going to settings going over to key bindings going to 5m and then just reading through a bunch of the key bindings and what they do and then changing them if you would like to like for instance if you want to take your phone out with a different key or change your push to talk range or change your voice key or change this or change that i recommend just looking through the 5m different key binds and just kind of changing them all up to what you want them to be and just getting used to what settings you're going to have from there also inside of your apartment just to give you a little overview you do have a little stash here which you can store stuff in if you would like and it stays here and there's no way for anyone to rob it so it's a very safe storage for you to actually have later on you can get your own apartment you can get your own house you can get different various warehouses there's a bunch of different ways to get more storage in the game but for now 
you have just a little stash at your apartment now for the rest of the video i think we're going to switch over to my main character and i'll show you a little bit more about the server in general i'll show you guys the phone i'll show you guys some of the various starter jobs as well as just how to get started on the server in general it's gonna be a little bit easier doing it on my main character and then good old billy bob over here so let's quickly switch over to our main character and i will see you guys in just a second or two Alrighty, so we're on our main character now and we're gonna start going over some of the features that the server provides so first of all the number one feature that pretty much everyone's gonna use and use probably the most out of anything is going to be your phone so let's take a look at the phone go over it real fast so starting off we're just gonna go app by app and go over all of the phone's applications on the gold rush server so first of all details is going to give you quite a bit of detail such as your bank balance how much money you have in your paycheck the server has has a welfare feature where you'll get a certain paycheck every once in a while and be able to redeem this over at the big bank which will go through very shortly um you also see your state id number which is used for housing as well as your phone number you can also see your licenses from here if you have any you should start off with a driver's license already next is going to be your contacts pretty obvious you're able to save contacts here and you can also give people your contact by third eyeing them and you, there should be an option to give contact info when looking at another player very very useful and easy to add people to your phone contacts this way um you can do a variety of different things in of course the contacts menu such as delete their number give them a call give them a text edit their name or of course just copy it if you want to send it over to another player next app is going to be the phone app pretty obvious you can see your recent phone calls here and of course just call a number straight out if you know the number itself the next one is going to be your messages app where of course you can see a variety of your messages that you have sent and of course respond to people through here if you've recently sent them a message you can say hello how's it going etc and respond to people this way and see all of your messages they are pretty obvious there next one is going to be the ping app if someone is trying to know your location but you don't know the exact area or how to explain it and you can they can give you their state id number which is at the top of your phone right here and you can type it in and they will be pinged and then be able to see your exact location it helps out a lot if you're lost somewhere and need someone to pick you up the next app is going to be the mail app where you can see various mails from different jobs locations or different npcs that might interact with you and give you something such as these vehicle locations located for the chop shop and some various other messages so definitely worth checking here if you've done something recently such as chop shopping and you want to see what car you have or a variety of different jobs uh, next is going to be yellow pages or advertisements you're able to see a variety of different advertisements here and we can also of course post them if you also want to see any of these pictures in full screen just click on them and it should pop up like so definitely always worth it checking yellow pages when you wake up just to see what's going on maybe there's some good deals going going on or some events always worth checking out yellow pages next is going to be twitter which is basically as you would guess just twitter um, of course same thing if there are pictures you're able to actually click on them and see them in a full screen view but just another app where people are able to tweet out just talk about random stuff and of course have a good time next app is going to be your vehicles app if you own any vehicles you'll be able to see them here and if they say in you'll be able to track them as you can see we tracked our vehicle and it's showing up right over here in the city so we know that our vehicle is parked at that garage very useful if you don't know where you last parked your car or if it's out somewhere and you forgot where it was definitely a useful app to be able to track from there you can also sell your vehicles from here to another player if you will like to get rid of your vehicle as well moving on there's a dead app if you have any debt it will show up here pretty pretty straightforward one there's wenmo which is used to make bank transfers so say i wanted to pay id one a hundred dollars i could do it here and for the reason surprise and boom send i guess there's no player id on one on the, at the time so no one's going to be getting that let's try 55 send and someone's about to get a surprise 66 send 222 there we go someone just got 100 bucks and uh, if you knew what state id they were you're going to be able to send them money this way just so you know for the future next is going to be your documents app if an officer ever asks you for let's say your driver's license or your vehicle registration you're able to show it to him this way you just hit that little uh eye emoji and then from there you'll be able to see all the info and of course the top right if you hit these three little dots and the share thing it will share it to anyone near you so if you have a cop asking you for your of course information about a certain vehicle that is how you would show them next the houses app uh right now of course you're not going to own 
colonia houses but it will show most likely a house here for grove street or something over just ignore that um i'm not sure why that's there but i believe this is also for your apartment which you can't really do anything with so just kind of ignore that for now until you own a house of your own next would be the crypto app where you're able to see different various kinds of crypto and of course can buy and sell different cryptos through here if i wanted to send it to another person i would just hit exchange their number and then how much of the actual dragon coin or ghost coin i would want to exchange for them or send them next is going to be the discord app here you can actually create different discord channels and of course check out different public ones if you would like to talk to anyone publicly really pretty cool app uh, it basically just works as a group chat thing and and is definitely useful if you're looking to get into a group chat with other people or just join some and meet some new people you can of course make private discord channels as well where other players are have to join with a password very very cool feature it's basically used like a group chat um but definitely a nice one to have if you are looking to have some of those channels set up next will be your employment app we're actually not going to look at this now we are going to look at this in a little bit um, there's a grouping app for various jobs let's say of course you're doing the garbage job and you want some more people in your group you're able to set up a group this way they can join it and you can all do that job together lsbn is currently not doing anything so we're going to ignore that app there is a taxi app where if there's any available drivers online you're able to call them through there of course you got your good old calculator you know just a calculator pretty obvious there you have your gallery if you've taken any pictures on your phone you have invoices if you're given any invoices or of course the camera if you want to take some pictures and that's going to be about it for the phone another nice feature is if you want your phone to go on silent at the bottom left you can hit this little silent mode and you'll no longer get any ring notifications now for now i think the most important thing to show you off as a new player is to head on over to the city hall which is located right here and from there we can sign up for a variety of different jobs and that is how a lot of the jobs are started so let's head on over to city services again right here located in the city and i'll show you guys what we can do there and what we can sign up for all right we're over at city hall let's head inside and show you guys what it's all about so heading inside the main desk you're going to want to focus on is this one right here with the man in the sick hairstyle we're going to do open city hall and from there we can go over to employment and you can sign up for a variety of jobs i recommend actually signing up for all of them if you do plan on doing all of them at some point it just helps out a little bit to make sure you don't ever have to come back here and reapply for the job so you can just select different ones such as let's say house cleaner click on that and then hit apply boom you have a new job with that you can do the hot dog stand apply you can select as many jobs as you'd want and just apply to them definitely recommend getting a few and then as you can see in the employment app you'll then see the different ones and you can sign into them that way and that is a lot of the ways that you'll actually be able to start a lot of the jobs because a lot of them will not show any markers at the zones that you see until you actually sign up for the job on your phone so to give you guys a little example of this let's head over to one of my favorite starter jobs the construction job although i don't believe it really pays as much as it used to back in the day and let's go check it out and show you guys what this phone app actually does let's head over there real fast now we're over at the construction spot and because we had signed in as a city construction worker we can now see this red little dot and if we walk up to it this is how you're going to start a lot of the jobs you can also switch over to quick outfits if you would like to if you want to get you know nice and rp'd up for the job and of course you can actually invite people here if you do have some other people that you want to do the job with which is very nice i definitely recommend trying out all the jobs on the server with a group of people as it makes it a lot more fun and there are a ton of jobs on the server including fishing which you will actually need to get a fishing rod at which you can buy over at the leisure store right over here you can buy fishing rods as well as bait there i recommend using the second tier rod not the full pro rod but the second tier rod is in my opinion the best rod and there's also fishing tournaments that pop up every once in a while which start all the way in Polito. and depending on how many people join you can make up to like 14 16 000 dollars if there's a lot of people in that competition so definitely recommend keeping an eye on your map map for these like three little stars that will pop up here and you can start some fishing tournaments and try and win those and win quite a bit of cash prizes there are also other jobs such such as window cleaning, such as window cleaning, post-op delivery, 
There's mining, which actually is a little bit more complicated. You actually have to get yourself either a pickaxe or a mining drill. You can also get a laser drill from Hiccup's mining service, which is really cool. Able to mine rocks a lot faster. With the mining as well, you have to, of course, mine at one of these various quarries, such as the Davis Quartz or, of course, the one over here. From there, you're going to want to go over to the foundry. You can crack up the stones, turn those into ore, and then, of course, smelt them there as well. Alternatively, you can also wash the stones in some various different spots and get stuff such as jewels ores and more so it's kind of up to you how you want to do it and then of course you can still go to the foundry after and smelt all that stuff down there's quite a lot of jobs around so i recommend going around exploring a little bit and checking them all out one of the ones that i personally recommend will be my recommendation for starting out on the server is to get yourself a group of three or four people and go over to the sanitation job this job pays out really well as well as you can get these little blue Blue bins which you can then exchange for materials sell the materials and make even more money again a sanitation job is going to be my recommendation for a starter job for a new player especially if you have three or four people it makes it go by really fast and makes it a lot more fun and you all get paid out quite a bit definitely my recommendation if you're starting out on the server as around the time of this video if it hasn't been changed Next, we're going to go over some of the basic features of the server that almost everyone will be wanting to check out. First of all, it's going to be the general stores and the various things they sell. So let's head over to a general store and check it out. All right, so over at one of the various general stores around the city, let's walk on in. And if we come over here and talk to the shopkeeper, again, with that third eye I was talking about earlier, by hitting your left alt key, you're able to bring up this little third eye menu. Hover over him, right click, and then hit shop. Now, they sell a various amount of different things. Uh, as you can see on the bottom left, there's this little brain meter over time from going fast in your car to robbing stores to doing different various activities. You'll build up stress. And one of those ways to relieve them is with cigarettes. So you're able to buy them here. They also sell a variety of different things, such as lighters. Of course, you're going to need a lighter if you're going to have cigarettes. Uh, they sell coffee as well as basic foods. Although I recommend going to some of the various food stores around the city. They'll be a little more expensive, but the food is going to be a whole lot better it's gonna fill you up for longer and last a lot longer so i definitely recommend going to some of the player owned ones which are constantly advertised both in yellow pages as well as twitter and buying some food from them it definitely works a lot better than any of the food you'll buy in the store just another tip for you guys you can also buy bandages here as well as rolling papers if you end up growing a little bit of green you're able to roll it up in the joints with those as well as bags of ice which i believe are for a lot of the restaurants and what they use in crafting so just a little look over this general store just a bunch of basic foods as well as stress reduction items and some bandages next i think we're going to take a look over at where you'll buy your cars over at pdm so let's head on over there i can show you guys where it's located on the map it's located exactly where pdm is located on pretty much every server right here right above adam apples boulevard on the map so let's go ahead over there check it out and show you guys how to use that menu as well Alrighty, over at pdm this is where you're going to be buying all of your vehicles or the majority of them there's another way to buy vehicles um besides just buying it from another person and i'll show you that very shortly as well so now here at pdm again you're going to bring up your third eye hover over the vehicle right click and then from there you're able to see this and this menu allows you to buy the vehicle which be careful i don't believe there is a confirmation on this so please be careful when swapping and looking for vehicles you don't accidentally buy one of them and we're going to hit swap vehicle from here you can see a bunch of different classes of vehicle anything from commercial vehicles to sedans to of course sports vehicles there's a bunch of different ones and then there's also a lot of imports so if we go under let's say lamborghini you can see a couple different lamborghinis there we go under chevy there's a chevy there we go under let's say land rover there's a couple different ones there so we can go check them out from here as well there are a lot of imports over i believe 150 imports or something crazy like that on the server so there are are a lot of imports if that's what you're into as well uh there's some nice subarus of course nice 22b damn that thing looks good a lot of cool cars to check out here and definitely recommend spending some time looking for all the imports looking for all the regular cars checking out some of the different pricing and trying to figure out what you want for your first vehicle definitely recommend checking out pdm and that's pretty much how pdm works and we're going to keep moving on to the next thing which is going to be the bank and the banking system. So let's head up to the big bank located all the way up north, all the way here at the big bank. 
and i will see you guys once we're up there going through the banking system and how it all works all right so over at the big bank we come inside here and we go through these doors there are a variety of different tellers here so first of all is going to be this one on the right this one is the one that's going to give you your welfare check so if you go over to here you hit paycheck Hello. and you can see your paycheck here and then hit withdraw all Thank you. if you want to grab your money from them again we just grabbed out twenty one hundred dollars and then if you go talk to this guy this is where you're able to actually view your bank account as well as manage bank account now you're able to view your bank account at i believe any of the banks you're only able to manage them and create new bank accounts at the big bank that's the main difference between this bank and any of the other ones so if we hit view bank account we're able to check out our bank from here you can then see your personal bank account as well as any transactions withdrawals or deposits or transfers that have happened recently you can deposit money here again we're going to deposit our check so there we go deposit 200 dollars you can also keep a little thing like say we wanted to deposit another 100 we wanted to put a comment on that uh parts we can do that as such and then of course we can see the little message here parts if we wanted to like you know tag this as we wanted to know what kind of money it was from or where it was from or why we did it and we wanted to remember for the future you're able to leave little messages with your deposits or withdrawals from here as well and of course if you want to manage your bank account you're able to create new ones through this let's do manage bank account we can actually create new accounts or manage accounts that we already have very useful you can also create shared bank accounts if you want to share them with a friend or two very very nice and then over here i believe is if you have a business you're able to make payments on it here i believe there is no more tellers i believe that's it that's going to be about it for the big bank as well as the banking system. Let's move on to the next part and talk about some of the various whitelisted jobs. So currently there are a bunch of different whitelisted jobs on the server. The first of them being, of course, various different restaurants. As we can see, we're right next to Up and Adam. There's a bunch of different restaurants around town that you're able to get hired at by the players running it. At those businesses, you can also, of course, buy food from them as well as drink. That's going to give you a lot more filled up in your drink or food meter uh, than the normal, you know, just sandwiches and Coke and coffee and stuff that you can get at any of the general stores. You can also work at them and make quite a bit of decent money. So I recommend if you're new to the city, maybe try taking up a job in the food industry making a little bit of money that way and then going on your day if you want to switch jobs up in the future now you got a little bit of money on your back there is also of course ems and pd if you do want to become one of those members of the ems force or the police department and there are various different ranks within them you can also apply for them i believe on the actual discord every once in a while they do hiring sessions or of course they will sometimes do them in city where you're able to go to these big affairs or big fairs and actually check out and talk to some of the police department talk to some of the ems and see if it's a job you might want to be a part of there are also plenty of other player run businesses such as mining companies record labels and more so i definitely recommend looking around the city and trying to see any other jobs that are going on there's also lots of criminal jobs on the server as you can see someone's doing a jewelry store right now anytime you can also hit the home button and see what jobs are available to be done and of course a full list of all of the criminal activities on the server or at least the ones that you need cops online to do if we have a quick look through these we have the boosting we have weed runs we have a drug boat we have blue runs which i have no idea what those are uh we have suspicious deliveries store heists bank trucks vangelicos fleeka banks blaine county savings pacific banks a union depository yacht heist artifact heist bobcat heist oil rig heist the luxury car heist train heist van heist and the humane slab heist so there's definitely a lot of criminal activities and that's just the heist there's also a bunch of other ones such as drugs of course drug selling you have uh, ability to grow different plants around the city you have ability to harvest different illegal various substances there's definitely a lot of stuff that you're going to have to figure out during your adventure on gold rush rp that are not going to be talked about in this video so i recommend getting out there talking to people talking to gangs maybe and trying to build yourself up a little bit more and get a little bit more knowledge about the criminal side of stuff on the server the best way to get almost any kind of info on almost any rp server is just talk to people i know it's hard when you're first new to the server and everyone's in little clicks and groups but there's a lot of very welcoming people on gold rush rp 
RP that I recommend, you know, just trying to talk to people. A lot of people are very friendly and will give out information if you, you know, of course, show yourself to be some worth. So I definitely recommend going around, talking to some people, and of course, you know, getting some info that way. There are also various mechanic shops all around the city. There's another cop going along. There are also various mechanic shops along the whole city um, where you can get your car fixed, upgraded, and of course, if you want to, maybe try and get a job at one of the various mechanic shops. Get yourself started. It's a really great way to meet people. Of course, you get people coming in with all different kinds of cars all the time. Great way to meet new people and, of course, get a little bit more knowledge about the city. There's a bunch of different whitelist jobs. I recommend kind of spending some time in the city, checking out Yellow Pages, of checking out Twitter, and, you know, just kind of visiting some of the businesses and seeing what you might want to work in but i think that's actually going to be about it for this video there was another way i was saying that you can actually buy cars which i didn't go into any more detail with and that would be there is also a second hand car lot up north right over here where you're able to buy a bunch of various different vehicles the pilot other players have put up for sale so if you are new to the server and you're looking for a nice vehicle but at a good cost definitely recommend checking out the used car lots since they can have some really good deals on them but i do think that is going to be actually about it for this video again i wanted to give you guys just kind of a general overview on the server and of course how to join it so hopefully this video has helped you with that um if there are anything that i didn't go over or that you have questions about feel free to put in the comic section below i will try and respond to every single one of them that have any questions about the server and or how to join it or anything about it again it is on the 5m platform if i didn't mention that earlier but i think that is going to be about it for this video hopefully this helped you start off your journey on gold rush 3.0 and if there are any other questions please make sure to ask again in the comic section below but i think that's going to be about it if you guys did enjoy as always make sure to leave a like on this video and if you want to, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.